Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I had shown you how to design this categories button using HTML and CSS. And here we can see this is how it looks. If you hover over this, we have these uh, tags displayed over here. And it is also completely responsive. So if I decrease the screen width, this is how it will look on different screen sizes. Now I had also shown you how to add this to your Blogger website. So this is how it will look on a Blogger website and it looks all right. But if you go to any other page, so for example, if I go to this fifth post, we can see that the category buttons are displayed over here as well. Now what we will do is for all the other pages except the home page, we will have a different styling for these category buttons. So for all the other pages, we will decrease the size of these category buttons. And for the home page, we will have this style right here. So in this video, I'll show you how to do that using if conditions in Blogger. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here is the source code of our design and this is the HTML. Now what we're going to do is when we go to any other page in our blogger website, we will add a class to this categories container. So for example, we will add a class called small. And when we have this class called small added to our categories container, then we will have a different style for these category buttons. So let's write the CSS for these category buttons when we have the small class added over here. So let's go to our styler CSS file and let's scroll down. And here let's add a selector. Let's type categories container dot small. And make sure that you don't have any space between these two classes because we want both these classes to be added to the same element. So the first thing I will do is set the padding to 8 pixels. And now for the small class, we will also remove this heading. So the heading is an H2. So here we can see this H2. So let's remove that in the small class. So let's type categories container dot small h2 and let's set the display to none. And here we can see we don't have the heading displayed anymore. Now let's also decrease the height of these buttons. So let's go back and for the buttons we have anchor tags with the class of single category. So let's type categories container dot small single category and let's set the height to 80 pixels. And we'll also add a little bit of border radius so that we have rounded corners. So let's type 8 pixels. So this is how it will look on all the other pages. All right now let's also add some styling to the smaller screen version. So for this let's decrease the font size a little bit. So for that we have a media query with a max width of 540 pixels. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here. And here I'll just type categories container dot small and let's decrease the font size of the heading. So for that we have this division with the class of category title. So let's type category title and let's set the font size to 20 pixels and we'll also set the height of the single category to 60 pixels. So let's type category container dot small single category and let's set the height to 60 pixels. So this is how it will look on mobile devices. Right now let's add this to our blogger website. So let's go to our blogger dashboard and let's go to theme. And we had added the code inside the theme section. So let's go over here to this arrow and click on edit HTML. And first of all, let's add the CSS. So let's scroll down and let's go to the CSS. And here's the CSS of our categories container. So let's go to the end and let's add the new CSS. So let's go back to our source code and let's copy all the new code from here. So let's copy from here till the end. And let's paste it over here. Right now let's go to the HTML. So the HTML was added just after the header. So let's search for the end of the header. So I'll just press command F and let's type less than forward slash header. And below that we have this HTML added. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use something called B class inside the blogger theme. So for that you have to go inside the division. Now we want to add the class inside this division with the class of categories container. So we have to go inside this division and here we have to add the code. So you have to type less than b colon class and then we need to add a condition. So let's type cond equals and after the condition we need to add the name of the class. So the name of the class will be small. So let's type small over here and let's close the tag over here. All right now let's add the condition. Now here we have to check whether we are not on the home page. So let's type data colon blog dot url is not equal to so for that you have to type exclamation equals and we have to type data 
colon blog dot homepage URL and that's it let's go ahead and click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and let's go into a different page so let's click on this post and now here we can see we have a different styling so for all the other pages except the home page we will have this styling so here even for the list of the blog posts we have this styling but if you go to the home page we have the default styling so this is how you can add different styling to different pages in your blogger website all right so that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day